Shema Israel, Adonai, El Fayyah, Adonai, El High. Our Yah, Adonai, is one. Hear, O Israel. Shalom, shalom. Fallen. It's a prayer for those who have fallen. We mourn this morning those who have fallen. We mourn this morning those who have fallen. This is Adonai's prayer, the Lord's prayer. You will hear it in Hebrew and in English. Our Abba, our Father. Our Abba, our Father. Our Abba, our Father. Who is in heaven? Hallow is your name, Yah. Wholeness. Wholeness. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. will be done in earth be done now as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread our Abba our Father
and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the hands of temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Deliver us from the evil one. And lead us not into the hands of temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Our Abba, our Father. Our Father, our Abba. Who is in heaven. Who is in heaven. Hallelujah. For your kingdom. And the power. Forever. Blessed are you, Adonai, our Yah, Creator, King of the Universe. Amen. Sila. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 27 will be cited in Hebrew and in English. I'll deny our Lord is our light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Adonai is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be terrified? When evil doers came at me to eat up my flesh, even my adversaries and my foes, they stumble and fall. Though our host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, even then I will be confident. I'll deny, my Lord is my light. One thing I have asked of the Lord, I'll deny that I will seek after. That I may dwell in the house of Adonai the Lord all the days of my life. <laughs> to behold Adonai the Lord's beauty and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom. Shalom, 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 alaikum, peace and blessings. Uh, I'm going to be very brief in this hour. Uh, and you can see my subject is addressed to people of goodwill and good faith. 
It's addressed to all those who seek the presence of the creator of the heavens and the earth in their lives. And I'm bringing what's bringing me to this subject this morning is the tragedy, the inhumane tragedy of death, what we see all throughout the world and in our communities. But in particular this morning, the most recent tragedy in Jersey City, New Jersey. And it's very important that you follow along and listen. I'm going to be very brief on this this morning because it's really real simple. And we have to stop the foolishness of misunderstanding. You see this book here, this book here, this book right here, and I'm showing you, this book right here, the Tanaka. This book is totally spiritual and mental. It's never to be taken in a physical or to be taken literally. That's not what this is about, man. This, these instructions, this book is talking to you in the spiritual context and in the mental context. Huh? I want to invite your attention to Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter and the 35th and the 36th verse. And it reads on this wise, to be my vengeance. This is the creator, Yah, Adonai, speaking. Huh? God is speaking here. To be my vengeance and recompense at the time that their foot flatters. Yea, their day of disaster is near. The destiny rushes upon them. For Adonai the Lord will vindicate his people and take revenge for his service. Y'all saying he will take revenge, not you. You have no right to go and take the life out of anyone. That's not what Yah wants you to do. That's not your authority. You have no right to do that. He didn't instruct you to do that. So some of you want to use scripture to justify your evil deeds and your evil actions against another inhumanity. No one has the right to take the life of an innocent person. Not according to if you serve the man, if you serve the, the, the presence of the, of the creator of the heavens and the earth that wrote this book, that instructed these commandments. And it says what in the sixth commandment or the sixth word? Because they were never called the ten words. They were, called, they were never called the ten commandments. They were called the ten words. It says this. Thou shall not kill. You have no right to go and kill innocent people because you disagree with their politics or you disagree with their theology or you disagree with their color of their skin. You have no right to do that. And then from what... We or indications or information. It says, I hate what Yah hates. Stop right there. What is it that the Creator hate? He created all of us. What is what is it in particular that He hates? He hates those who rebel against His instruction. He hates those who refuse to take on his consciousness, who refuse to take on his mindset, who refuse to operate within his energy, who refuse to be obedient and come into the oneness of himself. He is talking spiritually. He's not talking from a physical context. He is talking spiritually. He's talking about those. He hates those 
who have continually eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He hate those who continue to have evil inclinations housed within their flesh. Their heart is made of stone. Mm. They have no love, no compassion, no consciousness of his presence and his will in their lives. So he hates the sinner. He hates the one who operates in the gym. He hates the one who commits murder, who commits lies and deceit. That's what he hates. He hates those who refuse to bow down to him. And as he instructed, bow down with those that bow down. So you done took his scripture and to justify your evil deeds and your evil actions and you call it under his name. It ain't got nothing to do with him. It got everything to do with your ignorance to his will and his divine purpose in terms of what we must be about for the establishment of the kingdom of Yah on this planet. Now, if some other people want to misinterpret the scriptures, that's on them. They got the answer for that. But it's not for you to judge. And it's not for you to take their life. Because he said, vengeance is mine. And when he says, vengeance is mine, who can impose a greater wrath on a people than the creator himself? There's nothing you can do that can match his wrath. What do you think happened to Moshe, Musa, Moses, when he was denied entrance into the promised land? He was denied it. Why? Because he refused to obey the instructions of the creator. And so now you want to take things into your own hands. And you want to kill innocent people. And you want to, and you got this self-hatred that you kill each other from the moment they say something that you don't like. Or you disagree with. That is not what the creator is calling for us in the hour of Jubilee 2019. That is not what he is asking for us to do. He is asking for us to follow the fullness and the essence of this. His instructions. That's what he's asking for. Yeshua came not to bring peace, but to bring war, to bring wrath, to bring division on what? Mm. He set them apart for what? He set them apart because they, for those who came into the truth and the way and the life, man. So when you read this Tanaka, when you read your Bible, read it from a spiritual and a mental standpoint, not from a physical and to be taken literally. So you want to go out and you want to advocate the destruction and the terrible, inhumane, taking a life. Mm. Now there's three babies from that mother. She went to work, man, in her own business. In her own business. Now her babies are mourning this morning because you want to take, because they oppose your theology and your thinking, now you want to take somebody's life. You don't have a damn power to do that. And you're not doing it because God has instructed you to do it. That ain't got nothing to do with y'all. I'm sitting back here and advocating this foolishness. Because you disagree with the historical aspects of what we coming out of Jubilee 2019. Why you think it's the year 400? Huh? Let's go and look at something else. Do you know what occurred last night? Do you really know? You're, you, you, do you have a clue? you missing. The creator is lifting his veil on the earth, man. And if you ain't tied into the right frequency, mm, the full moon, the last full moon mm, of Jubilee 2019 mm, appeared at what time last night? Mm -hmm. It appeared at 12, 12 a.m. this morning. 12, 12 a.m. Look at the science in that. 12, 12 a.m. What is 12 times 12? What is 12 times 12? It's 144. What do the books say about the 144,000 
But you sitting here and you want to look at this from a physical standpoint. And you want to say, I'm a black Jew, or I'm a black Hebrew, or I'm a black nationalist, or I'm a black this. You think God, you think the creator care about your color right now. He don't give a rat's behind about your color now. It's about your essence as a human being. And how well you have come into his mind, into his consciousness, into his will, into his directions. Huh? It's about how well you have purged your heart mm, of the evil inclinations that you have collected from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And how much you are lining yourself up in this hour under the tree of life operating in the 14 spiritual laws in the five worlds of your senses, man. And you talking about taking the life of somebody. And you want to use that kind of rhetoric to incite and misdirect people. It is about how well you're going to stand on your dean and you're going to line yourself up with the creator in this hour. And if you ain't teaching this kind of teaching, then you are out of place. You are out of order. You can sit back with your personal nationalistic or your personal politics or your personal hatred. Because you have failed to develop as a human being under the instructions of the creator. And he says, in all of your ways, acknowledge me. In all of your doings, acknowledge me. And he said, your ways are not my ways. And your thoughts are not my thoughts. And that's the hour we are in. So this foolishness of willing to take somebody's life. And then some parading around like it was a good thing. You out of your damn mind. That's what I said. This is about spirituality. It ain't about your color. It ain't about your belief. It's about how well each and every one of us line ourselves up now under the oneness of the creator. And he done given us all the examples. And as our elders once said. The basket of knowledge is empty. You either come into the knowledge of the creator or you are doomed in your unconscious evil ways. Acting and parading around you representing his word. He ain't instruct you to kill nobody. He ain't instruct you to judge nobody. Because each and every one of us got to face our own judgment. And when we face our own judgment, as Yeshua said, then you got to carry your own execution. You got to carry your own state. You think it because you're saying he, he died for your sins. No, you got to die for your own. You got to bear your own. So you got to pick up your own execution. You got to pick up your own state. And you got to stand on that dean. You got to stand on the principles of truth. So now innocent people who are of African skin that call themselves Israelites or Hebrews. So now there's a move that you may be identified as a terrorist place of worship because of some ignorance in humanity, because of some foolishness in people who don't have the proper understanding of these scriptures. I'm going to need you to understand that this book, this Tanaka, this book, this Tanaka is meant to be read from a spiritual, a spiritual and mental context. It is not to be taken literally or physically. Now, man got their evil ways. I agree with you. There's been some evil in America. There's been evil all over the world. There was evil from our ancestors or, or those who, 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 who lined themselves up with, 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 the, with those who sold us into slavery. I got all that. But I'm telling you right now, for we still standing, but we're standing by his mercy. We standing by his grace. We standing by his beneficence. And it is up to us now. Mm. In this hour to line ourselves up with his direction and not this foolishness. My heart and my prayers go out to those innocent people. That's right.
because there's some positive good law enforcement. That man did not, he, he did not deserve to die. Those people did not deserve to be killed. All those bullets put into that man's body because you got that kind of hatred in yourself. We're living in a very mean and evil and wicked and hatred world right now. But the creator is calling on those who believe in the power of prayer. Mm. Those who believe in humbling themselves, coming out of the flesh and coming to the supernatural spiritual realms that will line you up with the heavens. He is calling for you to bow down in this hour. He is calling for you to seek his face, seek his glory. Yah is seek, wants you to seek his glory. And you need prayer to remove that kind of hatred that you have in yourself. He said, I, what he said when he said, Hate, hate what he hates, man. He's talking about evil inclinations in the flesh, man. He's talking about a spirit that dwells within you too first. Clean, that's when Yeshua said, remove the plank mm, out of your own eye before you pass judgment on somebody else. So he is talking about evil and the evil one. It is not your duty to take the life of somebody else. I don't care what has happened. It is up to him. Because he said, vengeance is mine. That I would seek vengeance for my servants. How do you know you even been a servant of his? Because you call him Yah? Or you call him Yahweh? Or Jehovah? Or Elohim? That makes you think you there? That makes you believe you have arrived? Sure, you got evil people that want to oppress people all over the world. You got black folks oppressing black folks. You got white folks oppressing different folks. You got white folks being oppressed. It may be hard for some of you to believe that, but that's a reality. You got red folks oppressing red folks. So you got it all over the world. And historically, mankind have oppressed people all over the world and have oppressed their own. But Yah is looking for mm, the true set apart that will not be of this world, but be of him in all of your ways and in all of your doings. So it is important in this hour, as we witnessed at 12, 12 a.m. this morning, the last full moon for 2019. And as we are coming to the end, of Jubilee 2019, we must understand how important and look at the significance of why it appeared at 1212 a.m. this morning. 12 times 12 is 144. So that's another kind of spiritual lesson that we'll get into at another time. But I'm saying to you now, we must pray for those victims and we must pray for the two people who killed those four people. Because some, we have to pray that Yah will have mercy on them. They was not patriots to Yah. They was caught up in something else. Yah instruct them to go and kill nobody. He ain't, that's, that's not how he... Nigga, I'm just telling y'all, man. We got the line up. I don't care, brothers and sisters, if you're in Israel, if you're in Africa... If you're in Russia, if you're in China, if you're in Australia, if you're in the Caribbean, if you're in the hell holes of North America, in the penal institutions, or you live in California or New York or, or Alabama or Georgia, I don't care where you're in Canada, Montreal, I don't care where you at on the planet, man. He is raising up in this hour, and that's not the foolishness he's raising up. And I'm going to tell you, man, I don't want nobody looking at me based on my color. You got to look at me and judge me based on my spirit, man. Huh? Because it's on the spiritual whim. And this foolishness 
of acting as if you're the only chosen people. You blew that call. You've been rebellious, and that's why he puts you in slavery for 400 years. But you don't want to deal with those realities, even in the year of Jubilee. And you're going to end back up under the same curse you was under before the, the beginning, before we even got to this point. But I ain't on that page, brother. You ain't taking me with you. I'm not going there. Because I understand and I see what he is calling for. So what we just witnessed in Jersey City, New Jersey. That has nothing to do with the creator or his word in its purest form. Not when he said that. Now you can take it and interpret. That's what man has done. He done took the word of God and done created all this other foolishness that have led to over 20,000 different doctrines and over 2,000 different religions. And he only had one word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with. It was with him. And you done went somewhere else. You don't went somewhere else with it. And because you don't like a people or you don't like a person that's been keeping the Torah or been keeping his precepts. I'm not talking about their politics. That's something for man in the common law to deal with. I'm dealing with spiritual laws. I'm not even dealing with natural laws. There are three forms of law. Common law, natural law, and spiritual law. I'm talking about spiritual law. I'm talking about a supernatural law. Man, I'm a supernatural star, man. I'm a superstar in the kingdom of y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with y'all foolishness. And y'all don't have anything to do with this foolishness. So I, I'm not going to let you put this on him. And to justify these people being killed. There's no justification for that killing or the killing that's happening in our communities every day. By the hands of whoever commits it. And y'all is calling for us to no longer partake of this tree. Of the knowledge of good and evil. It is time that we line ourselves up to him. So I'm going to end this brief broadcast with you. And I pray and hope that you will tag and share this message to everybody on social media. All those who even call themselves white Jews, black Jews, red Jews, brown Jews, polka dot Jews, orange Jews, whatever you call yourself, a person of goodwill, a person of good faith, people of faith need to wake up and stop this division and let the creator solve it all. Because at the end of the day, we all have one creator and we all going to have to face him. I'll leave you now as I came before you. And peace and blessings. Shalom Aleikum.